Welcome to an EdTech Team video tutorial. This session is going to be on Constitute Project. You can expect to find all of the world's constitutions here in one database. To get started, all you have to do is click on the button Explore Constitutions. I've preloaded my pages so that we can get to them a lot quicker. And so what you'll find here is just all of the constitutions listed alphabetically. You'll find the alphabet located up at the top so you can more quickly get to constitutions from different countries that start with those different letters. You can also search by topic and you'll find some sample topics over on the left hand side, but you can also just simply type in your topic. So let's say for example, we were searching for freedom of expression. You simply type in freedom of expression and you conduct the search. And what you end up with is all of the constitutions that have anything to say about freedom of expression will pop up under this one page. And by simply clicking on the expand button, you'll get an excerpt just like you see here where you can read what that constitution has to say about freedom of expression. Further, if you wanted to do a comparison and contrast, for example, we wanted to take a look at what Afghanistan has to say about freedom of expression up against Albania or others, then you can select the compare button that you'll find up at the top right next to that search result. So you just click on the radio button and it selects it for you. And let's say we were gonna scroll down and we were gonna compare that to the Bahamas uh, interpretation of freedom of expression. So we select that as one of the items that we're going to compare. So you continue to make your selections and you'll find that over on the left hand side, just below the feather, you'll see where it says compare. And right now, because I've selected three articles from three different constitutions, I have three items that I have in my queue to be able to compare. Once I'm done selecting those items, I simply select the compare icon here on the left. And what it'll do for me is it'll pull up all of those constitutions that I highlighted, that it's something to say about freedom of expression, and it pulls it up for me in one page altogether, making it a lot easier for me to be able to do that comparison and contrast. And I love that it highlights it for you in yellow. One last thing I want to show you, aside from using compare button, which is what you saw there, let's go ahead and go back to um, the, the search result. I want to show you that once you find items that um, you're interested in, um, so let's say that we came back to the list view and uh, we don't have time to necessarily read the results yet. So we, we search for freedom of expression. Notice up at the top right, there's also a pin icon. And if you click on pin, it's sort of like pinning this or like bookmarking this for later review. So I can select pin search and continue to do other searches. Let's say I was also looking for information on um, the constitution amendment procedures. And I also wanna be able to uh, do some research on that and evaluate that. Once again, I can pin it. What you're gonna end up with here below the feather, you'll see that there is a section called pinned. So anything that you're pinning down, it's now, it, it's now basically bringing those searches for you into one page so that you can later take a look at those. So you can do your research first and then come back and be able to explore and read and uh, evaluate what this information has to say. One additional bonus down at the bottom left, you'll find that you can export this information directly into a Google Doc. You can also just export as a PDF or a CSV file. How is that for being able to get all of the information you need from constitutions all from one database? Happy hunting.